Let's do it, man. Hi, everyone. What are you Hi. saying? What are you saying? Welcome back. What are you saying, man? TBI. Say episode nothing. Two, episode 226. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're joined by comedian, voiceover artist, um, actor, recent... Well, no, we'll tell, well, you're going to tell the story, I think. And we'll father. start with the story. I, I've new father, six month old, Benji yeah. Martin. Um, we've got Chris Martin, everyone. Welcome What's back up? to the podcast, Chris. What's up? Um, What's up? Back to back to my podcast. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my original <laughs> podcast. It's rebranded it, mate. It's like, it's like Starburst. It's like your tribe. <laughs> like, We're doing your. What's it? What's it called when um, uh, footballers go back to their old clubs and they do their? What is it? Tri not tribunal. What's it called? Oh, they do their bad. They, oh no, they do their. The, uh, what not they memorial. What's it? Um, yeah. um, it's, play football. Why is my <laughs> play football? Why is my brain gone? I know my brain. Well, no, your brain's gone because you've just landed back in America from yesterday. New Zealand. From New Zealand. You were near where I was. But can we yeah. discuss um, what your trip entailed? Because uh, <laughs> I was getting a running commentary the whole time. And I've never been more excited for somebody else when something something that looked like it might have been the case actually happened. This is the dream. Yes. For, and this will be a, for listeners. We're going to have to explain to you. Like this ends up being what I think to be the dream gig, but especially Ju this is Julian's dream. What happened? This is story. this is, did it get cancelled? Oh mate, so get let, a load, yeah, but get a load of this. Just, let me get into so so to uh, please. If I I'll try, I'll give the longer version because I think there's a lot of element. I think there's a lot of interesting emotional elements to this story, <laughs> which is I uh, I think Carl you have a similar mind to me, which is there are certain types of jobs in this industry that on paper i'm like i don't want to do that but i always i think i always try them once is my general yes. I always yeah, try yeah, them yeah, once yeah, 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 yeah. is my rule before i fully judge them so like even when we were younger comics back in there i did like one one time i did the it was gigs for the troops you could do i was like i don't yes. think i'm gonna like this but i did it anyway and i was like yeah okay cool i've done it and some people go, you know do them all the time or whatever but I was like, i just tried it once um anyway this one was um I got approached by someone to about doing a stand up comedy on a cruise ship a few yes. months ago because they saw um, one thing that I can, I guess, I'm your do old set. <laughs> <They saw, laughs> well, this person was 76 and they were like, <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, no, they, so one thing I can do, I guess, that I mean, a lot of comics can, but not, not loads over here, I guess, is I can do, uh, I can work, I can work clean. So I, I, don't, I can like right, not yeah, swear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Which, so all I've heard about cruise gigs from British comics are they're awful and they're to really old people who are miserable British people. Yeah. But weirdly in America, where I now live, to people who don't know, quite a lot of comics do the cruises over here and they're, gen they're generally like supposed to be not great, but they're all, they're okay because Americans just by their nature are there to have a good time. And yeah, yeah. I sometimes, some of the clubs I perform at here at, sometimes have an older crowd, but they're normally all right. Anyway, so I was like, Still wasn't particularly into the idea of doing it, especially with a baby that I'm going to have to leave for a few days. Um, and just the and just the cruise, it's just being on a boat, which apparently yeah. you're supposed to call a ship, not a boat, yes. with all these people. But Carl, you, you and me had heard that story a, lo a long time ago. Was it Mike Gunn or someone who did a gig on a cruise ship and it did so badly, the next day they were in the jacuzzi Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Someone they saw a person dive in the pool at the other end of the pool, swim, swim all the way up to them in, <laughs> got out the like poke their head out like a meerkat at Mike. <laughs> I think it was Mike in the jacuzzi and just went. I just want to say, mate, I saw your show last night. I thought you were shit, and then he just. Yeah. Swam away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, Mike, Mike Gunn. We need just to get him on the podcast. Drowned. Dude, yeah. Like Mike's got the best stories about dying on like at gigs. He's got that great one about when he got in the dumb waiter to escape the, the audience. Yeah. I don't think we should. I feel like we should try to just yeah, get yeah, on, yeah. tell them because they're so good. But yeah, yeah you so. Mic on. Well, there is that. So they wanted to that. buy that off of him for Jack D's old sitcom, but he didn't want to sell it. The actual oh, story. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So so I heard that Jimmy McGee, who we know, did them a bit. Didn't, anyway, but yes. I, this guy said he said to me this this agent whoever it was, went it was kind of I basically put this gig in the diary think thinking. <laughs> Thinking slash hoping his other TV job was going to happen, which didn't happen. Yeah. And 
I was going to pull it out and go, oh, sorry, guys, got to do some TV stuff. And that didn't happen. So I was like, the gods are against me here. I am going to have to fly all the way to New Zealand. I mean, to that's, do a three that's cruise, the most insane, insane part to me. <laughs> LA to New Zealand to get on a boat it's, for well, three it's funny days. How you, it's funny how you justify it in your head. Because so basically I'd said, I only want to, you, you, they normally want you to do a week. I've never done one before. So like do a week and you do like, you have to have two different 45 minute sets that are clean, yeah, yeah. but not just clean, clean that will this work. This is Julia's nightmare people. right now. <laughs> that, will make, <laughs> that will make babies laugh as well. <laughs> yeah. It, well, no, it is. It's like clean to old people and kids, but like people who, who don't even go to comedy. So it was like, all right. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, I have, I have enough material on paper. And and then the reason I chose this gig was like the guy was like, well, American comics who he sometimes represents and he sends out that way struggle to, to perform to like Kiwis and Aussies because it's like more British centric, their humor. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, American comics, like, you know, when you're in L.A. and you're high and Aussies yeah, yeah, and Brits yeah, yeah, like, yeah. shut up, mate. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I chose and rack I, I off. <laughs> this wreck, wreck off you bogan um okay. Gosh, that would have that would have gone terribly on the boat um so i i chose to do it because only three days but then I, I suddenly was like as you you know when you put those gigs in the diary and then you get closer so i firstly thought i might not have to do it uh, and then obviously it was like circumstances meant i had to do it and then I, two weeks before i was like oh, i just realized i'm flying to new Zealand. i'm flying into the future i was like how because then it's like it's not three days because you have to land a day before, yeah, and then you but you have to leave like three days before yeah, because yeah, of the yeah, time yeah. difference. So I left on a Wednesday, landed on a Friday, land on a Friday morning. I get to my hotel and they hadn't booked me from the night before, so I had to just hang out for four hours. Um, and I did I did message this to Carl. I forgot how funny how deadpan Kiwis are, and there was <laughs> this kind of whatever hotel, and then this uh. This person comes in uh, with her kids and goes, just want to know, is the uh, is the pool outside heated? And the woman behind the counter went, yes, by the sun. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, that's very good. I like, I like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm in this hotel. And then, Carl, because, Carl, you've you've got something similar. Com- so you, I was messaging you going, as soon as I landed, the dread of doing it started to kick in. Well, it's I was like, it's going that, through like, my set. I was worrying about it. It's because it's out of the normal, like, it's the same, the same feeling you get when you're doing a corporate or something, isn't it? You just think this is mm. going to be harder than a normal gig. So you just get them nerves that you don't normally get. You forget them nerves even exist. Them nerves, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like nerves from when you're a new comedian again. And like yeah, every yeah, yeah. gig has this sort of like dread. Like that it, what if it goes wrong? And I think corporates and stuff have that. They just, unless you're yeah. one of these old road dogs who've just done so many that it doesn't even doesn't even <laughs> cross their mind, man. Like oh, which yeah. old road cigar smoking road dog. <laughs> yeah, just leather oh, jacket. Leather, five leather five leather divorces. Jacket wearing. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fat alcoholic. Wife, wife hating. Yeah. Kids don't anyone talk else, to you. Anyone else here got balls? Anyone got balls past their knees? You know. That yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, like you know, but those ones, those sort great. of the guys that just it wouldn't even cross their mind that a gig might go bad because they don't care. They've done so many of them. The ones that go bad, they've just got used to it. And they, they, and also often they just they've done enough of them that they just they know that what they need to do to make it work. Whereas, yeah, it's your, yeah when yeah. it's your first one, man. Like it's, it's even like because corporates are, are rare, aren't they? You're not like doing corporates all the time. They you just no. shit yourself if you're, you know, it's, especially if you're I, like, I, especially if you're personal anecdotal type comic. You know what I mean? Like if you do like jokes like Milton or Jimmy Carr or whatever. You, yeah, I mean, yeah, Jimmy yeah, Carr yeah. have to fill. You, I feel like jokes just like live and die by the joke. So like they you don't yeah. really have to even like you. I mean, not to get your persona, <laughs> well, but like when you're if doing I'm going on, stuff, they're going. If they don't like you, they joke. They don't like you. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your it's heart. personal. It's really... They think you so, are an arsehole. Yeah, so I'm in this hotel room like the night, and I'm, all I know is I'm getting on the boat on the Saturday, and the first thing they go, we're gonna pick you up at seven a.m. And I'm like, that oh. feels that feels very early to get on. A, I'm not perform like presumably I'm not performing yeah, yeah, the yeah. evening. And I'm, anyway, um, and I'm so I'm going through. I'm like properly in my head going. I'm cutting out stuff that's America because I've actually I've not got loads of America, but some stuff works in America because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, getting rid of that. I'm looking at the clean stuff I've got, which is a decent amount. I've got to do two 45 minute sets. Okay, this, and, then, and I go, they're not going to care about that. They're not going to care about that. Anyway, get called at quarter to seven in the morning. And they go, you know, we're actually not picking you up till 10. I'm like, why did you call me? Yeah, quarter to, yeah, just yeah. tell me the night before. Get on the boat. Um, I'm, I'm just that whole experience. I just feel like a full alien who's just like, like a new comedian again. I'm really nervous to get there. 
the guy and I'm just and I'm so tired because I didn't I woke up early because it's only whatever the journey that's also then, jet uh, lag. that's proper jet yeah, lag jet lag but well, it's only three hours weirdly even though you're in the future uh, by two yeah, days. it's only course, three yeah, hours yeah. So actually it's but I'm tired and I'm like I just go and the, the guy dropped me off he's like a nice bloke he does all these he does all the driving for these people and he's like all right he goes yeah um it's a very old crowd and he's like and I was like, yeah. And he's like, you can't talk about religion or are you telling me all this? He's not driving. even a comedian. He's driving. So this is picking he up. He drove me from the hotel uh, to the thing. And he's telling me all this. driving goes, around the boat. I was not saying. No, 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 no. So he goes, um, yeah, I guess just you have to do some like Jerry Seinfeld type stuff. And I'm like, yeah, just, just some Jerry yeah, Seinfeld thanks, type mate. stuff. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for the advice. And anyway, so then I get taken to my cabin by the Ents manager and he gives, and I go, and I'm just trying to, and he kept being like, you know, you've done these before, so it's pretty standard stuff. And I didn't want that to be like the new guy, so I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I've done in the these. office, yeah. mate. Yeah. yeah, mate. When when am I not? <laughs> when am I on now? Sea legs, Martin. That's what they call me. Where's the um, mic? <laughs> well, so um, I go. Um, what's what's yeah. your cabin like? I was going to say, what's when you get there? So that the you vibe? sometimes get put in the in some. Com- I'm not going to name the company because I don't know whether I should be talking about this, but if I don't yeah, name no. the company, it's fine. Right. No, no company has been mentioned. So sometimes you get put in the with the in the punters like that's cabins, what I gather. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which with heard, this one, this one, I'm in, I'm with the um in the staff cabins. Are you below like, like, below or deck? Or a, below, yeah, you below deck or above deck? Not deck. Water I mean, there's level. there's many. You can see the uh, no, you were above. Of a you're, window. No, you're above. Yeah, you're above. I'm not looking at like fish. I can, I'm above that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not just like I'm not just like that far from my head. There's a fucking shark. I can, I can see you advice can, on the gig. I can see the. La- <laughs> They're an old. The gig, the gig goes badly. Like in case of emergency, break yeah, glass. Yeah. Just swim, <laughs> swim into the just scuba get eaten by a shark. I saw you last night. Yeah. You were shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ran on a bit of paper at the window. So then, <laughs> so I'm going into my cabin. And I'm like, oh yeah, hey man, just uh, hey, just to check, um, because you don't really. All I know is I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing two forty fives. I'll see what. But you know when I'm performing, like hope, because what what I said to you, I think was, I hope I don't have to do one tonight. Because then if I it tanks, which is a strong possibility, then I, then I have to sort of eat food amongst these people yes, for two yeah, more days. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. worst. And then he looks at the schedule and he goes, no, 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 it's, uh, that's, that's that band's on tonight and then tomorrow's that. And then he looks at the, and he looks at the schedule and I, I, should, I can name the other, can I name the other comic in this car? Yeah. You can do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine because it, it's, it's nothing to do with him. And he goes, yeah, it's nice. he goes, oh yeah. And he looks at it and goes, oh yeah, on the on the Monday, it's, you, uh, it's Jeff Boys. And he, he just says it's Jeff Boys, right? Who is a comic we know from back in the day on the circuit. Yeah, yeah. A Scottish comic, really nice guy. I hadn't seen him Loves for years. Loves the cruises, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, he does a lot of them, it turns out, when I, when we met. Uh, but anyway, so I, I haven't seen Jeff in years. And I'm like, oh, cool. And, I'm, and in my head, I'm going, all right, it's me and Jeff doing like 45 minutes each. And then... And I'm like, all right, I guess I'm just hanging out for like 48 hours. And then I do the gig on the night before I leave. And I was like, that's so good. I just do my gig. And I go, so I've got, and I go, it's two gigs in the same night, two 45s. He goes, yes, no, no, no. Just, you can just do the same 45 for both. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes. just 45 minutes. It's like, it's almost like the finish line is closer. To, I'm like, I can yeah, make yeah, it. Yeah, this is going to yeah, be yeah. fine. And then he goes, Jeff's delayed. He's getting in tomorrow. So I go, all right. And now I'm just sitting on the boat from like, it's in, it's docked for the whole day. And it turns out like if I could have just gone for a walk around Wellington, but uh, right. I, I just sat in my cabin and read um, <laughs> Richard Osman's Thursday Night Murder Club uh, on my Kindle, just, <laughs> just in a small I thought cabin. we were at sea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, all right. I could, you, we you, done were, you going, land, were you going for a mooch around the boat a lot, or what? Were you, what was uh, yeah, I, I was like, I need to get my bearings, and it's like you can get, so you get, you get lunch from the buffet, which is like fairly decent. But then I'm amongst the people, and I'm just, I'm like, everyone I'm walking past, I'm like, they're not gonna like this. They're not gonna like this. They're not gonna like this. Like, <laughs> I've got, no one is gonna like this. No one is gonna like this. But it's um, so lonely, isn't it? It's really lonely. Um, especially when you just sit, sit in your room, read all that. Anyway, so next day, and again, it could have been worse than another way. It could have been at sea for three days. Next day, we get to Napier, which is the biggest art deco city in the world. So I get off the boat. And then I, again, I feel like a little kid because I don't really understand how it works. And then they get these buses to drive all of the old cruisers into town, even though it's like a three minute walk. And I'm like, this is quite, get on there. <laughs> the guy starts telling you, hey, this is Napier and it's the, uh, and I go, yeah, I'm like, this is actually quality. You don't have to do any reading. Just an old man tells you about yeah, the place. Yeah, so this yeah. is great. I get taken into Napier, have a little mooch, coffee, go to a museum, just like, again, just solo, just like on holiday, but still in my head going, what the fuck? Okay, right, what's going to work? And I'm just jotting down in my, my notebook and 
anyway come back that day it, we have to leave early for some reason so just again cabin i haven't seen jeff boys at this point this is uh day uh the second day obviously so we go, all right just read go both nights i went to bed at uh, honestly 8 30 p.m that's, <laughs> that's nice so, though, man. that's so a dream especially with a baby i'm like this is great and then the next day we get to Tauranga, which um, is a lovely part I've of the world. I've been there as well. Yeah, been to, we, yeah, you've been to those when when I've done um, stuff for, in New Zealand Comedy Festival before. And that's got like a, it's got Mount Monganui. So I just get out there, go for a co- and then we've got We've got the whole day if you want to be there. But my gig is that night. And I, yeah. I keep my gig tonight. Okay. So go for a walk, vegan cafe, walk up a mountain, writing down, okay, this is what's going to work. And I, I start noticing stuff about the boat. I'm like, all right, if I talk a little bit of obs about the boat, but I've got a funny bit about how the lifts, yeah, you always press the button on one side, but the lift on the other side comes. I'm like, it's basic crap obs. Yeah, but if yeah, I can yeah. do, do some physicality with it, it'll be all right. But I keep, I keep looking at the schedule and I go, it's weird that like Jeff Boys's name is on tonight and they haven't put my name. Like maybe it's because it's my first, yeah, it's my yeah, first yeah. show on the boat and they don't know how it's going to go. And then, and then John Hastings said to me, I go, yes, yeah, weird. Me and Jeff are doing 45 minutes each back to back in the, in the, and the time slot looked like it was an hour and a half. So it'd work. And John goes, he goes, it just on WhatsApp, he goes, that's not, nah, you guys are doing different nights, two 45 minutes in a row. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's a different company to who you normally do them for. So what's what it is. But then I keep looking at it and that is weird that my name is in there. And then I look on the next night and the next night they've listed British Invasion. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's what they've called yeah, me and Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Two British people were invading the boat, I guess. Maybe they've just <laughs> got it the wrong way around. And then I, uh, I keep thinking all day. It's really weird that no one has, no one's like done a sound check with me. I know it's a yeah, stand up, yeah, but no yeah, one's yeah. done anything. And I also start thinking I haven't brought a suit on and it says on the thing like dress to impress. You've got to dress on like, for British for invasion. Night. Is that no, no, for tonight, sh- for, for oh, the day okay, of the week, yeah, it's yeah. like the, the, all, the punters on the boat. It says smart casual most days. This is dress to impress. Like, oh man, they're going to dress to impress. Turns out when I walked around the boat, I had a shirt and chinos, but I looked around the boat and I was like, if this is people dressing to impress, I should be yeah, fine. With shirt and chinos, chinos, you were impressive. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, they were like, this guy's way too impressive. <laughs> all right, mate. The owner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. You just come from a it's funeral. Just... What's going on? <laughs> you want to wait to call Denim mate? shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Blue denim shirt. Fancy Ooh, pants. Fucking lardy da, mate. Yeah. Uh, there was an Aussie bloke who was wearing those like jean shorts and one of those like cork hats. And that was, yes. was a real Aussie. And I was like, that's quality. But I haven't spoken to a soul apart from the, I haven't seen the Ents manager since the moment he put me in my room. This and I haven't yeah. spoken to anyone about just, just a man just, just reading and worrying about his gig. Gets to 6 p.m. It's an hour before the show. I was like, I should probably, I know where the theater is. It's just the floor below. And I go and walk in. And it just says, it says in massive writing on two screens, Jeff Boys. I'm like, it's still weird. It's kind of weird yeah, now, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it just says Jeff Boys. It just says right, Jeff Boys. We get like, it, okay, this is getting to me now. <laughs> yeah. Like, what about Chris Martin? So I go, and there's no one in the theater. I walk to the backstage. I go, I like walk onto the stage. I go behind the curtain. I find this bloke who works there. And I go, hey, man. He goes, hello. He just thought, and he goes, who are you? And I go, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm doing the show tonight. He goes, "Are you Jeff Boys?" And I'm like, "I'm not Jeff. My name's Chris." And he goes, "He goes, are you sure you're not Jeff?" And I'm like, "I'm really sure I'm not Jeff. My name is Chris." And he, at first, he told me afterwards he thought I was just like a weird bloke from the boat who's just yeah, trying yeah. to do a show. And I go, "So is it me?" So I guess I'm doing like the first forty-five, and then Jeff, and I just find that the name thing he goes. No, no, no. He goes, "Only, only one comedian does forty-five minutes." And I go, "But what?" I go, "I've just been like this is." He goes, he goes, what's that? He goes, brings me into the office. And he goes, have you been in the office with them today to do a sound check? No, I didn't even know. No one told me. I've, I've literally just been a man for 48 oh, hours, just let loose to eat buffet food on a, on a cruise. And he goes, um, he goes, let me get call the guy. He calls the guy who checked me in. I probably shouldn't use names. I'm not using names. And he goes, uh, he goes, oh, yeah. And well, Here's a weird thing. I had a note in my room that day saying, <laughs> good luck with your shows tonight, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, so somebody knows I'm on the boat and my name is Chris. <laughs> the mysterious. And I speak to that person. guy. And, 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 I, and at this point, I might have watched actually Carl going, I definitely told Hannah and me to go, I think, I think I'm, I think they have done, I think they don't, I think I'm not doing a show. And I'm like, I, I go, what? And I said to the guy, this guy is doing two shows, but Jeff Boys is doing two shows. And you, this comedy is only 45 minutes. And I'm like, really? And, and they go, and they, 
they speak to the bloke and he goes, yeah, I think there's been a mistake. They've just double booked. And they look on the schedule and like, there's other rooms. They go, no, there's stuff happening in all the rooms and it's already on the schedule. So <laughs> we can't, um, we can't do it. And I go, and I mess you go, guys, I, I, I think, I think I'm, and I said to the guy, well, what do I do? He goes, yeah, just enjoy the, the rest of your vacation, I guess. <laughs> so I go, and honestly, I messaged you, Carl. And once that was established, some, I love stand up and having a rip, ripping a gig is is a great feeling uh, but it is not greater than getting paid quite a decent amount of money yeah. <laughs> to just go on, on on a on a boat the boat itself is one but the fact that you go for three days you get <laughs> i got paid, got paid to, to go on vacation day. yeah for three days <laughs> and, and also the, the relief i was so once scared you weren't the doing the show I, like, I can't have a bad gig i can't yeah, have a bad yeah, if, it was, yeah. if it was like a, a crowd i was up for doing and I honestly, after that, I immediately go to the buffer. I'm the chattiest man. There's an old man and his wife. And they're like, I'm like, have a seat, You're guys, performing next to in me. the queue. And I didn't even tell him what I was doing. They were and like, you said you went, and you what's said, what's the deal you, with like... lift buttons around here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what's you said you went for like, you went to watch Jeff and then you had a drink, like, this, like yeah, yeah no, I, I, I was drink after this Aussie couple. I was just like, I was in, I was just having such, I was in such a good mood. This old couple, I was like, they were like, they, they at no point did they think it was weird that I was just a thirty-something-year-old man just having dinner on his own on this boat. Like, yeah, I would have yeah, assumed yeah. anyone who looked like me was working. The guy goes, "You just here on a little holiday, are you?" And I went, "Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, yeah." <laughs> Turn, literally, based on ten minutes ago, yes, that is exactly what I'm oh, here doing. Man, I'm here on a three-day holiday. I flew in from LA to New Zealand for a three-day holiday, and after that, I went for a couple of um, old fashions in the bar. I, I caught up with Jeff, and then I see Jeff, and he's just like. Me, if I'd known what happened, I would have just, I would have like, I would have just like got you on the bill with me and stuff. And I'm like, ah, it's a no, real, it's a fine. real shame. Yeah, don't worry about it, <laughs> Jeff. Real, mate, no, I appreciate yeah, it, mate. You're good. Yeah. And I just kept finding it hilarious that I. Well, you got paid someone... a handsome sum to fly and basically fly onto a boat and just have a catch up with Jeff boys and then get off. It's, it's what a lovely, like, um, what a lovely way to spend like, a few days. <laughs> it's like the tamest, tamest version of Under Siege where I just, yeah, rather yeah, than. Yeah. <laughs> like an ex-military guy getting flown who's on a who's in the kitchen who can fight i'm just like i'm out there if anything if anyone needs some humor just like on oh, a whim man. i can turn it on but otherwise i'm just here to just have a, i got paid to go on holiday for um, did they days. explain what went wrong how the guy happened? tried to explain he tried to explain he was just going like well we did the schedule like you go and they kept going this has never happened before this has never happened before and i was like uh yeah but i mean because carl you were messaging me going because John normally does these for a week and you've got to do at least two or three nights of shows. And then you said, I said, I've got to do 245. I've got to do two shows in three days, which I was like, it's still, you know, it's still all right. But I was dreading it. And then when I realized it was what two shows of the same thing, I was like, this is great. And when I realized yeah. it was no shows. No, sh like, no shows of no material is the dream. No That's... shows of no material. Like I didn't, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get any laughs. I didn't get booed off either. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Cause you're doing one, Lovely. you're doing one soon, Carl, where you yeah. do zero. Um, you know, you do one show. Uh, I think I do one show or maybe, I think it might be two shows, but it's the same material, different audience. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm I'm quite interested in what it's going to be like. Again, it's that thing of the novelty. What is this of, a cruise? Is it? Yeah, I just I got asked to do one. Somebody saw me at a gig here and um, asked if I'd do it. Um, but from what I gather, the ones here are slightly different to the ones that go out of the UK. Like in I terms think you've of got more. Clientele I think the British and, crowd. I think the British crowds are, are the British old people are a different beast, based on, aren't they? They are. <laughs> they're <terrible. laughs> they are. They're bad. Yeah, they're bad. Um, I died so hard in Egypt years ago. I was too new for it, really, and I just bombed so bad, man. Well, just man. Um, on a on a cruise. Or it wasn't a cruise, but it was kind of um, too old it, British. It people felt Egypt. like that. You know what I mean? It was a holiday kind of resort. <laughs> I, I won't say uh, the like, name. Chuck, chuck me in one. Chuck me in one of them tombs down the street. <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't oh, say the name of the act, but an act who's who's guested on our podcast. She did her first um, one recently. And oh, told, yeah. have you, she told you this story about. No, you told like, me. Oh yeah. man, like she died so hard on the first night. She was doing two nights. She died so hard on the first night. Next night, um, they literally said to her, "We don't. You don't need to do it tonight. We're just going to show a Billy Connolly DVD." <laughs> that is, that is cold blooded, man. Wow. <laughs> you got replaced what, was that, by. Was that, was that a cruise on a cruise? Yeah. Wow. That is. A, I was but... supposed to do. Um, yeah, a cr I I pulled out. I, I was I was supposed to do a gig next Thursday actually. Um the agent got in touch and he's 
And what I was supposed to do was go to this club. There's 30 guys in this. I, I don't even know what club it was. <laughs> pretend, but, Sounds but sinister pretend, already. <laughs> pretend that I'm a new member. Oh, get up and, and talk about my membership and then go into my set. That's an as absolutely a surprise. Not. Why? No. Absolutely like I'm a surprise. Not. And today I, I just rang the guy directly who... Um, and just said, I, I can't do it. It sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, I can't do your gig because it sounds fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and he was Sorry, like, I can't. I, I'm actually in, in my house grilling my own testicles <laughs> instead of doing that. I, I, I said to him, it just sounds like a nightmare. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's very and he was like, what? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty though. Yeah. So that's the correct response though to some <laughs> some shows when people ask you, "Hey, do you want to?" You're like, "You." I always go, "Oh, sorry, I've got to," but I'd love to just say that. <laughs> sorry, I would love to, but that sounds <laughs> like a bloody nightmare. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem, the problem for me with that story though is now I now I'm going to really struggle to agree to do any form of a cruise gig because I'm like, yeah. they're like, it's it's a good one because I mean I got offered the same money for a week to do three days and I was like, that's what made me do it. I'm like, yes. can you offer me the same money to do um, no. zero gigs again? Because zero I, days. Yeah. how many gigs? Is it one gig? Well, that, I feel like I'm I'm losing yeah. money now. You're cause... never gonna better that yeah. experience. Sorry, my, my oh. fee is actually based on me not doing a gig. <laughs> my fee is just good vibes on the boat. You pay for me, and I'll I'm chat good, to some. I'm good fun at the buffet. You know what I mean? Just get me on there. People's like, who's that happy chappy just walking around on his own, saying <laughs> just... morning to everyone? I would have felt so elated though. Oh, I totally man. understand. Honestly, like, just like, oh. you know, like in a movie when it like the thing happens and it, it's like money, 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 money. Yeah, 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 the guys yeah, have got yeah, a swagger. Yeah. That was, was yeah, like, yeah. It's like I've been injected, jumping up, stuff. kicking your heels. <laughs> well, isn't it again? I probably sh I won't name, but I, I, there's that famous story. Um, oh, it's like an apocryphal story of, uh, and I won't say the name. In case, like again, it's something it'd be nice to hit for it to get him on to talk about it, but. Uh, a sort of another one, a guy from the old, like a proper old like jonglers comedy store stalwart from like the 90s um, got asked to do a gig over in like bloody Bahrain or somewhere like, or it might have been Seychelles, somewhere where you basically, it was for like a Saudi prince's birthday. And it was, um, you know, he was doing like half an hour. There was going to be magicians, dancing girls. It was just going to be this fucking like, like the bloody royal variety, royal variety performance, basically for this prince who'd sit there in a chair watching with his mates, whatever. And uh, it sounded like a nightmare gig. And anyway, yeah, so he gets flown over. He's getting good money for it. Nice hotel. And then he just got a call like two hours before the show saying like, yeah, the prince thinks the show looks too long on paper. So we just said, we'll cut it down. Can you do 10 minutes instead of like 30? Oh. And he was like, yeah. He goes, yeah, you know, that's absolutely fine. I'll be like, sorry to cut your time. He's like, no, nah, you're all right. And then um, <laughs> half an hour later, another phone call comes in. So, yeah, it's, we've told the, the prince that like it's still too long. Uh, and so he wants it cut. So can you just host? Literally, you can go on, just do a few mins, and then just introduce all the other acts. And he's like, yes, that is exactly Best. what I can do. So now he's just having the best time. And then he got a call like 10 minutes before the show saying the prince has decided he doesn't want to watch any entertainment. We're cancelling the gig. You get paid in oh. full and we've put a full free tab behind the bar upstairs. So he basically Quality. got paid like a, like multiple thousands of pounds to fly to the Seychelles and basically get shit faced with a bunch of dancing girls all evening. Lovely. Do you know what though? When those, I love those stories, and I guess I would put mine in the same bracket where someone, if anyone's listening, oh, you lucky bastard. Um, but I feel like I've, uh, I'm, I've earned that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've done so many crappy gigs. Yes. For like so, for like no money, or just like just, just embarrassing and a waste of time. That when you get them every now and again, or like a voice gig or something, which normally pays pretty well for the before AI replaces us all. Um, yeah. You know, you're just like people. Go, that's loads. Of you go, yeah, because there's so much of this this side of the industry that's just like, like I did a gig in Baltimore to like eight people, which was I would argue the worst gig I've done in in 15 years. It was before I it was before I recorded the night before I recorded my special. Oh, I remember. And um, the guy the guy had gone. So we don't normally do a late show on a Thursday, so we haven't sold many. How many is eight? Every single one of them was. Arse. They were all arseholes. Some of them, like, was a, a mum and a mum and her mates and a daughter. They're from Iowa. They'd some. I think they see me online. So they came. Every single time I stopped for like a half a second, someone would interrupt and ask me a question. 
And I was like, I'm supposed to be running my hour before I record it like next two days. And then after like 10 minutes, I was like, this is just, this is literally just a waste. This is a waste of everyone's time. And I, 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 but it was so bad. I found, I actually started in my head. I started finding it, you know, when it's so bad, it's like stressful. I found it like, I was like, this is so, this isn't even a gig. I just started to find it. I was like, this is, this is insane. This isn't even, yeah, even yeah. the promoter at the end, the promoter didn't even take commission off it. He was supposed to take 20%. He went, I'm not even going to take 20%. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. good. You shouldn't. <laughs> that was bad. It <laughs> was bad. Um, quickly, oh, before God. we do some questions, your your special is out. The audio's out. No, no. The, 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 the audio's out, but I'm going to release the um the video onto YouTube in a, in a couple of weeks. You actually, I sent you an earlier I've had a pre I've got to. I got a preview, a pre final preview. edit preview. It's very, very good. Um, Thanks, it's fun. Yeah, it's very, cool. very funny. Just uh, um, if anyone wants to watch it, I guess it'll be on um, the website youtube.com. Um, and if you follow me online or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll post it and maybe you'll share it on, yes. on one of these things. But it's fun to do. It'd be interesting to see if British people watching find it. There's like, I mean, there's a few I didn't few find it. American I, references. There's not a few American, Americanisms, but like, it's not not at all. I am, um, no, I, I can't, nothing in, I can't think of a single routine that isn't uh, international and translates. Uh, yeah, weirdly, yeah. let's do a question based on that. James says, what's the best thing as a Brit living in America? Um, customer service. Oh, oh yeah, I mean that is yeah. Same in Australia as well. It's um oh, Australia so like something about countries where because in America though, are, are customer service people paid okay or is it just no? The difference price? is no. Or the is difference tips? is Australia they're paid yeah that's it. Australia they're paid well enough that they're they're not like miserable to have the job. In America it's tip based, so they're incentivized financially be to nice. not be. Dicks. There's no you know, miserable you... people. Mate, do you know what? You. Do you know the funny thing I noticed when I go back to the UK is, um, and every like I, f I feel like an in a, in a way an annoying American when I go back, but it but it is like a cartoon how bad the service is. Yeah. But partly because I forgot that I used to work in a pub when I was eighteen. The only people that work in those places are like kids because yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a starter job. But in America, it can be a career because you can make decent yes. money for tips. But were you? Did I meet you, Carl, Christmas before last when I was back? Maybe I met you afterwards in the underbelly garden or something, but I went to the bar, the Phoenix, where they yeah, yeah. they used to have old rope for years. So I just always choose that as an easy little place to meet. And um, I got there and I was like starving. And I said, can I have a burger and um, chips to the guy? And he goes, where are you sitting? It was like packed. And I said, I was eating at the bar. And he goes, can't eat at the bar. Go, Not even like, oh, I'm really sorry, <laughs> but I'm afraid. She goes, can't eat at the bar. Like, can't eat at the bar like I was an idiot. No. <laughs> like, you you want to eat food at a bar? You, yeah. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Drop the yeah. attitude, mate. This guy was like, where, where are you going to put your plate? On the bar? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to eat. Can I eat at the bar? And he goes, you can't eat You can't eat at the bar. And I go, why can't I eat at the bar? And he said, because um, if somebody standing next to you has an allergy, we're liable. I go, what are you on about, that's mate? A, that He's made a, that up. That's totally made up. What, so what if you get then, at your table and the table next to you, somebody's got an allergy? Yeah. They don't mention that. The guy with a peanut allergy just walks past and you see him just slowly fade. Yeah, they the don't table. see it. It's it's like, if they say, what table are you at? And you're like, I'm table 18. They're like, sorry, I can't serve you because table 19's got a peanut allergy. Like, it's never happened <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. in a pub ever. <laughs> exactly. So shut up, man. And then I go, um, but then I go, well, let me go. Is that, are you serious? I go, can I, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, is it like, are you sure you can't do anything? Can't. I go, Who's the manager and he gets an even younger boy out yeah. he's like, even more miserable <laughs> it's a smaller boy it's like you know this guy how was he the manager yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like nine and then he goes and, and and here's the thing i've noticed not only is it bad that it's like they they love they like love being dicks to you yeah, the guy's yeah. like nah. he's like arms crossed no no chance mate no nah, chance mate. and then <laughs> no then chance. i do think i no want chance. you can no I chance think, you're gonna eat here mate, mate well, uh, last time somebody did that it was about 08 last time somebody ate at the bar, <laughs> got the bar 2008 so good luck not happened for 15 years Fuck so then i go i go all right i go what if i because I would be like, wouldn't you want the man who wants to pay for the burger to, to pay for the burger? Your mate, I'm like offering you money for a thing. And then I go, all right. I go, I'll, I'll eat it and I won't eat it at the bar. And he goes, well, where are you going to eat it? I go, I'll stand there. And I just pointed at just a space in the middle of the pub. I'll yeah, eat it yeah. there. Is that allowed? And he was like, I mean, it's allowed. Yeah. Um, loop, loophole. Loop, I've got him on a loophole. And then, then, then I, then one chair became available. I got the chair and I put it there. And then the food came. I went, yeah, put it there. Oh, that'll be my table. And he was three like, people died. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> nine people with allergies died. But yeah, that was just that's the biggest thing. Customer yeah, service. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. People here are like, do any? They like move heaven and earth to make you 
satisfied. It's like, I mean, it is, and um, this isn't, yeah, it is so noticeable here as well. Like, I was in Sydney last week and um, I went for lunch uh, with, uh, or breakfast with um, Justin Hamilton, very funny, lovely Australian comedian. Mm-hmm. And um, we were in this, we were, he took me to his local cafe and I swear to God, we were there for maybe an hour and a half and maybe if that, the bar, like the, the, the bar, so the waiting staff, we had three different people come and do stuff. And every time we had like a full five minute, really nice, easy conversation, just chat. They were just, they, yeah, they were just chatty. And we just had really lovely, and because he told me on route, he goes, oh, this is my favorite cafe we're going to. He goes, everyone's just really nice there. And I was like, yeah, whatever, man. And I walked, I, when we left, I was like, mate, they are so nice there. Everyone's just so friendly and like just bubbly, bubbly, nice young ladies. <laughs> That's what you want when you're having your fucking in brunch you know oh, um yeah and not even like you don't feel like an old perv chatting to like a 21 year old um yeah, sort yeah. of you don't feel like one but you look like one mate <laughs> you are one I mean, in my head i was fucking <laughs> disgusting what was going on but like <laughs> <laughs> destroying them in your imagination <laughs> but you know but obviously i'm very pleasant on the surface so it's just i was just being friendly <laughs> Uh, they'd never know. They'd no, never know the grot that was going through my mind. What they were choking on in your <laughs> oh, mind. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I just kept. I just kept my mouth shut. For that yeah, yeah. Chris, just, Chris, <laughs> Chris just uh, pulled back. Pulled back on that conversation. I don't. I don't want to lose my sweet, sweet, sweet no gigs on a cruise career that I've got going <laughs> at the moment. Um, right. What's this one? Naomi says you're on death row. What's your last supper request? starter and main and dessert death row meals what are you going can for? i ask you this as a fellow vegan cult have you i think about this quite a lot and i <laughs> would i just go meet for my last meal just tap out just like do i do i just go like uh, yeah I, I don't know actually i still because there's a couple of like things that i enjoyed that were fish or meat based that i would be like that would be just to have it but then it but then it pretty you might well just get like a mcdonald's eh? like a perfect mcdonald's do you know you i went to there's, there's, well, there's a i went charlie's here i went to mcdarley's in sydney um again yeah, last yeah. week like it's a it's an exact it's replica of mcdonald's it tastes the same. It but tastes, vegan yeah all vegan and i swear on my life i got a cheeseburger just out of curiosity i was walking past i thought I should, you know as much as i avoid a lot of that sort of vegan fast food and junk food nowadays don't really yeah i've had my fill of it it was a bit of fun but now i just can't be asked um and <laughs> it's a bit of fun yeah. <laughs> you know in your 20s when you have a burger for a just bit a of wild fun. afternoon <laughs> but you know what i mean i used to, I need crazy to kid. but what i mean is whenever i was gigging in a city i'd always find the cool like vegan places that did like oh i'm gonna go get a vegan hot dog and whatever some and popcorn just... chicken or yeah something. things that you like i thought were a novelty but then i just now i just don't i just eat normally when i'm in town i stick to just eating relatively well but i, I went to him at charlie's and i will say um it is exactly how i remember the food from mcdonald's i don't miss oh, mcdonald's at all but like i, t- I taste it i was like that is a hundred percent exactly what a cheeseburger has tasted of in my memory so you know, you I'd probably go. go for a McDonald's with a like a milkshake standard. Really? I don't oh, know you why. Just go, you just feel like you feel like if you're getting killed, you're gonna murder as well just before yeah, you Yeah, why not? Why don't you, you just get a meal that takes health. ages? If you just put off your death for a bit, isn't it? Four I'd get, years, yeah. I'd get a massive bowl of spaghetti Marinated and I'd eat I'd, I'd eat each spaghetti separately. <laughs> right, I thought you're gonna. Are you on a slow roasted shoulder of like? I don't you know, think like they put like your death date days back cook. though. Do you know what, what you I mean? mean? All right, what they don't, don't wait till you finish your, your execution meal. date. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they pro- they <laughs> probably <laughs> they probably make you choose the meal a week out just in case someone's tried to to do that. <laughs> they go sorry that because if people come and watch, don't they? They go and watch yeah, the yeah. murder. So I'd say go, if I was gonna go, guys, I just realised if I was gonna go something non-vegan that um I would probably go starters. I'd go oysters. That's one of the things I'd miss. Oh, to get, uh, yes, to get yes. you horny. Do you know yeah, that we've, yeah. we've had this chat before about oysters? They are sort of, I mean, well, obviously there's, not, there's, there's an well. argument they're not. They don't have a central nervous not. system. So there's an argument they're closer to a plant than a, than an animal. But I don't know, man. It flaps around in the sea. I'm going to give it the I, benefit of the doubt. Geez, Do you know what, though? I've realized nice. knowing my luck. They're, they're, oh, yeah, they are nice. But they're, but they're, they're nice with the stuff on them. You've got the thing on them. that You've got to have a little bit of a little yeah. shallot type vinegar on top to... It's a weird one because you swallow it, right? So, but somehow 
it's something about it's it. A, it's about the process. I used to love them, man. I used to love them, like yeah. somewhere where they're good, like West of Ireland or somewhere just where they're just proper good fucking, you know, you get them in Australia, coastal of Australia, like, you know, just a proper like rock oyster and it's just stuff it, that eat it and then just wank yourself silly. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, you do get you know executed. Do you know what I was going to say? Knowing, knowing, I, you knowing put it on I'm... my cock, the electrocution. <laughs> 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 Can you put the gas up my arm? Knowing my good fortune, I'd be um, I'd be on death row. I'd choose the thing. They go, do you know what, mate? Actually, it's uh, <laughs> the murder. The execution's cancelled. You, can, you just got a free meal. You just got a free meal, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for Your a name's nice not. Walk. It's just Jeff Boys. <laughs> and I come out going, guys. Honestly, I'm like, We're killing oh. Jeff Boys instead. <laughs> I, I'm like and Jeff is all happy, like, like yeah, no, I do loads of these. It's all right, I do them every week. Um, I could have got you in. I'm like, gas I'm like Death, with me. Death Row's actually really. Nice. I don't know why everyone complains about Death Row. It's really it's quite yeah, fun. Actually, I, I do two like, a month for the pay really well. Um, <laughs> but um... watch an ex ex execution. <laughs> um, Dessert. Who goes to watch executions then? Are there it's pictures? just, people I think it's just family. friends and family. Only. I don't. <laughs> oh, right. Why? You want to get a comp? Can you get me a comp? Or whatever. <laughs> Can you get me in on the door? <laughs> <laughs> two for one. It's two for one on electrocutions. Uh, two for one um, Tuesdays. What dessert are you saying? In the green room. Um, I'm, having a, I'm having a cheesecake. Cheesecake? Like a, a That's not a very American uh, option. Or, yeah, I'm having that. Oh, yeah, I'm having that. I'm having that. Yes. Probably. Do you know, I, one thing I do miss, I've not ever had a vegan alternative that is anywhere near as good as the old classics, and that's a creme brulee. I used to love a creme brulee back in the day. Um, Julian. I don't like anything that desserts. uses a DIY tool to finish cooking with. <laughs> oh, what, dessert on death row? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just any dessert now. We're just talking about food, really, aren't we? Oh, I'd probably like a good American cheesecake, like highly rated with like 3,000 five-star reviews. Mm. <laughs> it's, really, it's really specific. <laughs> yeah. That's an extra detail. Like, I, don't want, uh, I don't want an award for anyone. I want one that the people love. Um, yeah, the people's cheesecake, probably. Just a giant one. <laughs> Make myself sick. Um, somebody has been asked. Sounds like the worst wrestler of all time. <laughs> Somebody's asked about um, Trump coming back in, but what's the vibe? Oh God, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to happen, isn't it? He's going to win, isn't he? I don't. I've, I've not been following anything, I mean, but I get the vibe I mean, that people ain't going to vote for um, Biden, and Trump seems to be. It's like, kind of. A, do you know what's annoying right? about? But I actually Biden, Biden won't be running though. Do you? Or he's he is running. Or he is running. He I know, but isn't there sort of? Isn't there talk that is a there's a bit of a. I thought it was that in, other in, bread in action that they're gonna they, they're starting to try and sort of build the vibe that like, like Kamala isn't it Kamala Harris came out and talked about ceasefire she's sort of going down the sort of uh she won't win though yeah they, she exactly. can't win. they're fucked either way America won't they're not the gonna sad win the thing way. is America won't vote in um a, woman a dog the shit lady <laughs> somebody's crap at her job um <laughs> well, the, the, the sad thing about Biden actually as much as he is really old is he's is, is, is actually like not to be the most pro Biden person, he actually like passed some pretty decent things for the left, but um, but people just people don't. No one pays attention. That's like he's no, an old no, man. No. He's an old guy. He can't really talk. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's I mean, a bit he dumb. Is that so dumb. old and fast. He's really, not, I he's quite like, old. I don't think he is. I'm not. I'm not engaged with like American politics at all. But like, I don't think he is. He should be like running. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not for his own. He should, well, be, they just he definitely... should be in a care home being looked after 24 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. No, he, um, they definitely, um, they definitely just, um, they got arrogant and just thought, oh, it'll be fine. He'll win. But like, all right, that's my baby son, by the way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, you all right, mate? Do you think Biden's going to win? But uh, yeah, no, I'm worried that's going to happen. Um, he's, Trump is, yeah, he's, he's just, he's, it's depressing. It's very depressing, actually. He's going away. He's old as well. He's old as shit as well, isn't he? Trump is very. I think like... he's like going on eighty, but he's he's funny though. The thing that people he is funny. That is the he's thing. That's the problem. Is he is it's, a it's funny guy. funny. If he wasn't funny, people vote would... for people, don't they? More than yeah, sort of hundred percent policies. Like it's um yeah, he's it's sad to admit like because even he's he's obviously an absolute cunt, but like. He is a fun. He's funny. It's like when you sometimes you meet an arsehole, and if they're funny, you're like, yeah, all right, I'll sort of. It's I don't mind yeah. this. 
you know, as much as I feel, I don't want Thank to be you, mates man. with you, but. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's a trump of podcasting. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put my son on my lap for the long Get him up, mate. Get him on the pod. With his little um, MAGA hat on. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you see when you are uh, full on you do see americans wearing there's like i saw a, a bloke on a plane back with like a t-shirt on the back with like saying like this is what freedom looks like it was just like just the, the grossest t-shirt ever yeah, with like yeah, yeah. bags and stuff on it like freedom looks like shite yeah yeah <laughs> Doesn't look free for your man tits trying to break out of that t-shirt, <laughs> big boy. Um, but it's a, uh, it's uh, yeah. I, in America, is wild for that. Like people just people being proud of their political party Mate, that they mad. vote for. Like people who put it's, um, like, it's little, really cringe on their lawn. They put the yeah. thing on their lawn. It's like in the UK, everyone's like, because it's so British. Be like everyone's a liar. Everyone's rubbish, which isn't. I mean, it is true, actually. It is but, true, um, yeah, it's 100% true. But, it's, um, uh, but yeah, just to be like, just to be a fan of a politician is the saddest thing It's so thing in the sad. World. Like, you know, even sad, like... Sad, like, I, I, it's, You need people that are engaged and like, you know, for each, like for political parties during an election, like we've got an election coming up it, probably in May now in the UK. And like... Is it going to be May? Are, okay. I think they, yeah, they st- I think it's going to get called relatively soon. But they, but the people that are out canvassing, go door to door, like I, you need that in a in a like a democracy, but I also think they're the cringiest fucking people I've ever seen in real life. I wonder if that actually works though. I'm not going to answer the door in, and chat to no. somebody and be convinced. No, 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 no. I, I mean, it must work it... enough that it's a bit like the guy. But they that, do like, it. Like yeah. The guy says, "Like you're beautiful to like every woman." It must work once out of every. It does, yeah. Times, yeah. <laughs> it's Thank Julian's you, man. It's like a fucking, <laughs> like a trawler fisherman, man. He's just chucking it <laughs> out there. See what, <laughs> see what he <laughs> catches. Like, you got to throw a wide net out there. He's like, I don't like whales. The... <laughs> Julian's like, I don't like answering the door to those people. I like to be the one ringing yeah, on the yeah, door. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Like um, knocking on ladies' doors, but yeah, but You're yeah, I beautiful. do. That's that's one thing I do like about like the UK in terms of there's a sort of you know yeah online people obviously could wank on about politics, but I do think in the UK there is a understated. <clears throat> no one's proud of their poli- the no. political party they're voting for. Everyone just does it in quiet. Keep your head down. You, put an you X would, in the box. I think you'd actually off. do really well if you do really well in the UK one, if you would, if your like slogan was just like, oh, I'm not, I'm just not as shit as the other bloke. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, if you yeah, said yeah, that, yeah, yeah. they'd be like, and that is pr- pretty much like why people are going to vote for Labour. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And that's literally his, he's played that pretty much. To I think Keir Starmer is actually, yeah, as much as I think he's a bit of a melt, I think he has played a decent game in your, if you look, if you zoom out, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm it gonna must be enough. a bit of a melt to go into it, eh? Into politics, they all seem definitely. Like, they're all, oh man, they're all just uh, losers. Like, yeah, ugly film stars, people call them, didn't they? <laughs> oh, is that it? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, they go into it, it for, for an ego. They're yeah. not into it, it to true. make a change. Like, can you they're name into a, it for a legacy. Name a really good-looking British politician. Like, it Do don't you know happen. what? If, if Rish... If Rish uh, uh, Rishi Sunak wasn't um, such a yeah. gimp. He's actually yeah. re- he's actually all he's right. Not, you're, I bet he's also tiny. As soon as he opens, he as soon as it, no, he's, it looks like he's he's literally like a looks like a little boy. Like he's, yeah, it's, he's got the dimensions weird, of yeah. a like of a twelve year old boy. Actually, I forgot he worked at the Phoenix a couple of years. Ago, didn't he? he told me not to <laughs> not to eat food at the bar. Um, so um, yeah, I don't. But when I he opens his mouth, one. you're just like no. It's never like a handsome Zach but Goldsmith Boris was quite, was quite a decent looking guy. Char- yeah, but, charismatic. Around. Yeah, but he wasn't good looking. No, <laughs> he was no. an absolute <laughs> fat mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so the... Julian, you, Julian's got a little thing for Boris. Right? Julian's, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Julian's there but, going, look, I don't agree with him, but he's got a hand at him. He's a oh, decent man, come on, man. You'd, you'd like him. He's a right you. sort. <laughs> also charismatic, and he had that. He had that sort of, you know. Sort of, he was kind bubbly, of chubby, Trump, posh. I guess, in a way, yeah. I suppose. You know there were, is, yeah, there were people that were pro Boris. Actually, that is, he's the only politician I can ever, I can think of, and Jeremy Corbyn, who had actual people. The soul, that, it was sold on his personality. Yeah, we're actually bit. saying that's yeah. the person I'm going to bat for. It wasn't, but it wasn't a lot. It wasn't like that many vocal people yeah, yeah, yeah. to America, but it still was actually did happen. Which the is rest just him on the spectrum. Um, yeah. Not the that anything's wrong with the, with the spectrum. Um, <laughs> You know, um, you know, in um, you know, in like art, I was thinking like comedy or whatever. Like, you know, when someone moves genre, like if you go, if you do the Edinburgh Festival and you do something that 
isn't stand up and you move into stand up and goes, this is crazy. This is amazing. Cause it's like, no one else is doing this. I think if like any of us did politics, like you would immediately be in the top 2% looks wise and charisma wise. Oh, and you yeah, just, yeah. You, cause it's like, cause you're just like, you're just, but comparatively, you'd be raking in. Um, but sadly, yeah, yeah. none of us know anything just about politics up. or policy. I mean, <laughs> so I mean, I mean just yeah. clean up um, at the after party. That, that, that <laughs> hasn't stopped some of the uh, conservative That's MPs. True. Though, has it? Yes. Um, let's do, we've got about 10 minutes left. Let's quickly. Ever been told off by a celebrity? More obscure, the better. Um, for example, the time Robson Green shouted at me when I worked in the library because he couldn't work the printer when researching his family history and I was too hungover to be helpful. <laughs> I remember um, Hunter from Gladiators shouted at me once. Did he? Do you yeah. remember him? Yeah, well, yeah, he was. No, I, I've, I've told this story before. He was at my first ever gig. Hunter from Gladiators. Oh, yeah. And Jason yeah. Orange were at my I first ever gig. I did think of gig. it then when you said, but... Um, but what, why did Hunter from Gladiators shout at you? Um, I was working as a lift engineer apprentice <laughs> on Queen Street in the city. And there was a big, like, carnival guy, and he was there, and I shouted something to him, and... What did you he got angry at me. I can't <laughs> you remember, shout? you know. Come on. That's a big part I can't of remember, story. but it, bo it bothered him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, but it was really rude and in public. Yeah. Generally, um, you don't, no one shouts something really nice at, at no. a person in the street, and, um, especially a celeb like that. And Daniela Westbrook as well. I, she, um, I said this on the group <laughs> chat on our Patreon the other day. <laughs> She was at the lights in Greenwich. My mate was actually dating her, someone I know. And um, but she was at the lights in in a BMW, and I was walking, and I stood in front of her car, like dancing, like Brian Harvey, yeah, like will, singing that. that will, that will and you. she just went, "Get the fuck!" She was all coked up and just went nutty. <laughs> um, um, mine, I've only I've said else. it on here before, and I'm sure I've like a hundred times probably, but like when Reg from the Bill told me and my mate Lima Cesar to fuck off once in Two in High Street. But Reg um, from the Bill. Yeah, do you remember you him? Reg him? Hollis? No, not at all. So obviously that Reg wasn't his real name, but me and my mate Lee, we were like ten or something. We were just naughty little boys. We saw him in the street and we just ran up and went, All right, Reg, like that. And he just went, Oh fuck off. Like, really seriously. To two kids. Turned I mean, up later. Stopped he in have, front of um, he Ray Winston. Mental once. health problems and tried to kill himself about ten years later. So that's not, you know, he probably wasn't in a good place. Um, I was on um, Shaftesbury Avenue and Ray Winston was getting out of a car and walking into a building, and I was basically in his path. And I said to him, "Where's your tool?" Uh, and he went right fucking here and grabbed his cr crotch. Oh right, okay. He, just went he went for right. It. He, he, he went for it, yeah. It was quite That's cool, quite man. Fun. What, what it him. sounds like, Julian, is celebrities have shouted at you because you shouted at them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, a lot of celebrities are just um, standing their ground to Julian's abuse. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've, I've, I've got a celebrity um, shouted at me. I don't know if... That was quite cool with Ray Winston, though, because that film Scum, when I was a kid, it was yeah. so... Um, and I've watched it as an adult, and it's just a bit shit. But yeah, filmed at the time a when you were a kid, you were in and out of Young Offenders Institute, so it wasn't very <laughs> close to home for you. That's um, where I want to go. Somebody, who's this? Jaguar has said, how do you intend to commemorate the death of Kate, Princess of Wales? Have you heard about this, Chris? She's oh, yeah, the room. Yeah, I've, I've been reading grid. a little bit she's of the stuff. So what's the deal right? then? Because I've only seen a few tweets. She's gone. She's just been not been she's in the public been, eye for there a was talk, There was talk of it. She was like, they, they mentioned that she was going in for an operation or something in December. And then they've since changed that and said it was January. Like, th there's no official story coming out as to where she is or what. She, like, and it's quite rare, you know, that they don't. They wouldn't say, oh, she's recovering. There's just no one knows where she is. Or something's happened. Yeah. Maybe they've split up. We don't know. But, like, there's just no official line saying where she is. And she's not been seen at all <laughs> in the best part of three months. And it's, it's quite a funny little growing conspiracy that she's basically been knocked off. One of the um, Oompa Loompas or something. Um, but <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's basically, yeah, it's mad. Like she's so, and they're all like, so Charles has got cancer and he's off. Um, I think William's the only one who's still knocking about because Camilla's apparently now saying she's taking time off. Like the whole, all of them are just going, getting, dropping like flies. And it's amazing that the, um, the, the UK continues to rumble on seamlessly without them. I know, without it. their guidance. How are we doing it? How are we, it? How are we, doing we it? need them. I know, surprising it's... the french haven't attacked without them standing <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah no it's funny that isn't it when someone she, she's probably just probably just gets quite tiring and it just always been it's probably a few months off it's like 
I'm get gonna... on a bloody cruise to New Zealand, love. Yeah, <laughs> mate. Get on there. Um, so, oh, somebody, Sarah has replied to the one about celebrities saying she was once told off by Tony Blair for by for, for forgetting to turn her phone off at a conference he was speaking at. Um, and she goes, I don't know if it helped, but my choice of ringtone at the time was Lamar, if there was any justice in the world. It's a great song. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, depends on the timing, but that would have been... Uh, Post-Iraq uh, post War. That's a good one. Anne Robinson once had a go at somebody for, who worked in a bookshop. This is nice. British I've heard nothing, but um, I think if you ask um, Anne, Anne, Anne Robinson, she was the weakest link presenter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you hear a lot of. Um, I bet there's a lot of and story. Yeah, one of my a friend of mine's ex mother in law, Anne Robinson. Um, really? Friend of mine's dad. Um, when they when her parents separated, her dad married Anne Robinson, and that was they they grew up as her with Anne Robinson as their stepmom. Um, oh, it's quite an interesting. The weakest one. link in their family. Yeah. <laughs> I um I did get shout actually. You, do you remember that? I don't know what that was. We were a joke. I know it doesn't even work, we, we, but it we, sort of did. We were we were all in our head. We we're doing. Is there a joke on weakest link? And it's almost it's it's too on the nose. <laughs> just just, say, like, just said the words. There's no like, it doesn't I'll, work in I'll theory. I'll I'll just one. say it. That doesn't even make sense. Height. Yeah, that would work um, on like a Radio right. Four panel show. That would get. Her. <laughs> oh, Julian, <it's> so clever. <laughs> and then actually, you're like, no, it's just shit. It's just a shit bar. And I'm like, no, it was shit. Um, but I, the, the bald guy off of the Gadget Show. Do you remember him? <laughs> That's you his actual him? name. The, the little way. bald guy. The little bald guy talks like that. That guy. Or is that a different one? Is, is he it? the one who does the... No, there's a, I'm thinking, no, I know who you're talking about. I'm talking about the guy who's always on the BBC being like going after um, traders who have fucked someone over, like not paid their... You know, they've sort of taken oh, the money and not... And he's like, he's always... Just, he's sort of a bit of like oh, a Greg him. Wallace vibe. This guy Dom, might have a little Dom bit of a list, Dom, I'm maybe. thinking of Dom. <laughs> this guy is a bald guy on the Gadget Show anyway. People yeah, yeah, will know yeah. who he is, I bet. But he was doing oh, like... Yeah. Uh, Everyone will know who he is. Um, <laughs> everyone except me who met him um, he, was but he, he was doing the microphone thing with a camera on the street and I was again up some on a roof doing another job like roofing <laughs> or something and and I was shouting down and there's oh, a couple man. of people laughed I, I don't know what I said and he was like got the hump and he come off mic and he said I'm the bloody comedian oh, um, oh, which I thought God, yeah I thought quite, that was a win it's quite bleak yeah I think you won that um but i'm the comedian i should do a we should do a spin-off that's episode a that, was just, a, that was my best gig talk through all the times you've shouted at people in the street that is um yeah. it's a real hobby of yours isn't it, Julian when's the last time you did it? celebrities was it all was it all a young person thing or is it something if you still when's the last time you shouted at a person in the no street? i wouldn't i wouldn't shout at somebody if i saw him in the street now um, right, okay. It was just you excited to see somebody off the telly, and you <laughs> so you shout abuse at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what right. I said. To, I don't you know when you're a huge shouted. fan of someone and you shout out. <laughs> I think Hunter was the one that I shouted something offensive to. Do you remember uh, what it was? my friend? I was gone. What's yeah. that? What was it? Did I said, I can't do you remember, remember what you honestly. Shout? Okay. No, I no. have a weird. I did sort of tangential Hunter story with my friend Charlie Meek, who Carl knows, texted me. The other day going guess who's in the pub with me and i said to hannah charlie he said guess who's in his guess who's in the pub with you got three guesses and she guessed rhino from gladiators and he went oh god he was mate he goes it's hunter from gladiators that is oh, mental wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He was so like, that's, that's so that's so close to being like if any psychic says oh i can speak to you that's like that is better than any psychic yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> that's One insane yeah, what does yeah. hunter from gladiators do now but he's a pt he's actually got sh he's got a shaved head and yeah i don't know what he does he just he, well, he drinks in uh clapham is all i know <laughs> yeah. that's what he does because what does Wolf from Gladiators went in? He a lot of them just went into being personal he owns, trainers. He didn't owns they? a gym in New Zealand, isn't he? He's, 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 Shadow oh, was a, like a bouncer 70. on a nightclub yeah. I went to. Shadow from Gladiators. What did you shout at him, mate? Nothing, but he looked angry, man. Well, yeah, he did. I was, he I was pilling out of my head. Wasn't he? Um, didn't wasn't he the one that sort of even then? It must a lot of them must have been on steroids, didn't he? Get done for it. Yeah, they like, all are. Yeah, if you're that big, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen the new yeah, Gladiators? Yeah. Before we got one more minute. Let's Apparently, it's quite good, minute. isn't it? Apparently, it's quite good. One of them is such a beefcake. I just saw a picture of this guy who's enormous, it's called like the Beast or something, and he's so <laughs> big and just muscly. 
and um yeah i presume i presume they're all do you fancy him um well not in sort of a sexual way but in a sort of you know oh, what a, spe- what a admiring, specimen admiring, to look at admiring him yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah. You know when you see someone at the gym who's just an absolute they do work must unit. work seriously hard to get that big yeah. with is steroids just, even is it just me or do you do, do you do this as well whenever i walk past an absolute beefcake with hannah i for some i without even thinking i always you have to give to hannah to them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you offer her up as a, as a sacrifice i am not worthy she is yours um, no i always say i always say do you reckon he likes the gym every time i can't i can't not do it no, right. do, you reckon, do, you reckon, do you reckon he likes do you reckon he goes to the gym <laughs> always makes her laugh there you go i'm like you, never julian, fails. who would probably julian would shout you massive Fuck across the street, and then <laughs> like, and this guy started shouting at me, no and then idea. get chased up the road. So I will say, do you know one thing I'm really excited about going back to the UK for, um, other than the fact that I'm homesick and I do miss it, um, is um, in the gym. My gym in the UK very rarely is there anyone under, I'd say, twenty. Like it's quite, you know, normally it's actually sort of more. My the gym I go to in the UK is like thirty-ish, thirty plus. Mm-hmm. Um, the gyms here, like the gym I go to in Melbourne, is without uh, most of the clientele are just boys, fifteen to eighteen. Like, yeah, and yeah, it's I like it's ridiculous. They're all massive beefcakes, and like with their I, zero body fat. Yeah, and like they're all like it's, it's it just bums me out. I'm like, what? Like, oh, I feel like sort of sad that they're there. I, don't, I know they do, they're healthy and doing good, but like I just want them to be like, go out and enjoy your childhood, man. To go and. In, Huff some glue in an alleyway and nick some shit. Go and shout some celebs. <laughs> what are you doing, that's, man? That's what happens if you don't go to the gym and get out. That's why everyone's in the gym. Going, yeah, it's true. If you don't yeah. do that, you end up shouting yeah. asshole. At but they also they all they all take ages. They're all hanging around. They're all like they're all hanging around in little groups, but they've all got a headphone in, so they're mm. listening to music while with their friends. You're like, you come. I want to. I want to throw something at them so i want to go back to the uk to get into gyms with grown-ups again okay um right let's wrap it up it's been fun fun hour um it, mate. It, everyone knows who you are chris apologies by the way i realized the story i told at the beginning was extremely long so no, but it's good we needed to hear it i love, I, I love stories been, like that someone's when, like what a victory that is to like something you're really yeah, nervous it was, about. Nice, it was nicely told and it was well. i prefer a story i prefer a story where i end up personally it goes wrong i think it's more interesting that that it goes wrong but in that yeah in that case i thought it was such a lovely little high that sometimes it's, like, oh, to man, share it's the, the dream so everyone but everyone can associate with that the dream is to get paid and not work that is ultimately like, that everyone's it's like having a day off work because there's and, snow or something yeah this might be because i live in la as well but you know like i do i i actually do i'm not even joking i do believe in like you know thinking stuff can like positive mindsets can actually you've got mate you've got a joke in your show manifested that that matter about manifestation that is that line has come back into my head about 10 times such a funny reference people when they see it people know what i'm talking about it's Uh, well funny great advert for the youtube um but uh, yeah no i do i believe i'm i believe in a way that i manifested not doing that show <laughs> Julian manifests not doing gigs all the time but he just pulls them but with lies yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got COVID <laughs> wow I manifested that I manifested, so I manifested got, pretending so, I had COVID I manifested some bullshit <laughs> on the phone <laughs> sorry I just got punched in the face by John Inverdale for some reason <laughs> uh, oh I forgot I shouted he's got no neck oh, in him across man. the street <laughs> um, alright let's call it there thanks everyone for listening Listening. Thanks, Chris, Thank for joining us. We Thanks, love patrons. You. We love all of you. Take care, everyone. Cheers, guys.